Hello students, this is Sir Sankar and today dear students we will start a new lesson from chapter 3 ok a new lesson chapter 3 of class 6 English so Taro's uh, reward Taro's reward so this is a story about a thoughtful and a loving son uh, who is a very thoughtful and loving also always taking care of uh, his parents always uh, fulfilling whatever the uh, needs are there of their parents you no know? very thoughtful and loved them also he works hard he works hard he was not a lazy <coughs> person he a uh, very working hard person so he was a hard working person and he fulfillings whatever his parents wishes are and gets uh, some unexpected help also and while doing so uh, fulfilling the needs or wishes of his parents uh, he gets some unexpected help from other and also <clears throat> so let's see what help he gets uh, we will see in this story this is a very interesting story just uh, listen carefully okay i will explain it to you so i hope you all are uh, ready no with your books so if you are not so please go and bring and sit with your book taro's reward so <clears throat> a young woodcutter named taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside he lived with his mother and father his uh, that young woodcutter's name was taro he was a woodcutter and his name was taro and he lived with his father and mother in a very lonely hillside <clears throat> then all day long what he did he chopped wood in the forest though he worked very hard he earned very little money he is working so hard but also earning very little money so this made him very sad thinking that i am working hard so you know but also not earning much amount so for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his parents everything they needed so whatever his parents they need no taro he want uh, he wanted uh, to give whatever his parents they need you know one evening what happened when taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their heart when they were sitting there in the heart in the corner of a heart a strong wind began to blow there was a a strong wind it was blowing it whistled uh, through the cracks of the heart and everyone felt very cold and because of that uh, wind which was blowing there when they were sitting <coughs> in a corner of their heart then everyone no, they were uh, feeling little bit cold they were feeling cold then suddenly Taro's father he said what he said after feeling cold I wish I had a cup of shake it would warm me and do my old heart good so he want a little bit what shake shake means a popular Japanese drink that pronounced like fa in father and K rhymes with we so it is generally what is a Japanese drink it is a Japanese drink so he wanted uh, he wished to have that a cup of <coughs> shake so what would help him by having that shake it would warm Taro's father and he also had a old heart good now he will have his heart you no know, very good it means he felt uh, he will feel much better now 
this made Taro sadder than ever. So he was uh, sad because working hard and earning little money. And when his father, he had a wish to have that shake, that drink, uh, Taro became very sad. Then before also. Before little bit he was sad, but now sadder than that. Sadder than ever. So for the hard uh, warming drink cold shake, was very expensive and that drink was very expensive to buy and he had no money to buy and he wanted whatever his parents uh, want you know he wanted to fulfill but now he had little money he wanted to buy but that shake was very expensive so how do i earn more money uh, he was thinking he asked himself how do i get a little shake for my poof old father how do i get no okay say now my uh, what drink father kill him. he decided to work harder than before so he was working hard before <clears throat> as you all know but uh, now he was working harder than before also to earn extra money for the shake next morning taro jumped out of the bed earlier than usual and made his way into the forest then he was chopping the cut he was chopping and he was cutting chopping cutting okay and as the sun uh, climbed and soon he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket so he took off his jacket when there was uh, he was feeling very uh, hot no so he took off his jacket and his mouth was dry now because of the hot sun so and his face was wet with sweat his face what happened was wet all in half in his face the uh, because of that weight it became uh, because of the sweat sweat means pasina you know because of the sweat his face become wet wet means bigger bigger so my oh my poor old father he thought even uh, if only he was as warm as i and with that he began to chop even faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the shake to warm the old man's bones so he was thinking about his old fathers and again he was chopping faster than before also and to get extra money so that he can buy the shake for his fathers now and with that he began to chop even faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the shake to warm the old uh, man's bones so now then suddenly taro stopped chopping he stopped chopping okay he stopped chopping then he heard a sound he heard a sound could it be could it be possible be rushing water he heard the sound of a rushing water some uh, how the water when it uh, flows it has it has a sound right that sound he heard taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest so before he had not heard that any stream there's a small river you know in the forest now by hearing that rushing you no know, sound so he was uh, thirsty now he was thirsty the x dropped out of his hands and he ran in the direction of the sound so he was running there uh, he was running where in the direction of the sound where in the stream so that to kill his uh, thirst now taro saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock a beautiful and a little waterfall was there it was hidden where behind a rock rock means patthar behind a rock it was hidden hidden means chipa over 
and he was kneeling and at a place where the water flowed quietly he cupped a little in his hand he took you no know, little water in his hand then he put it in to his lips just he put it like this in his lips was it water he was saying to himself he was asking himself or was it shake was it a water or was it a shake he he tested it again and again and always it was the delicious shake instead of cold water so as he was drinking that water he was getting the taste of a shake means that drinks that taste of that drink and taro quickly filled the pitcher that he had pitcher means to carry some water no you can see here in the picture pitcher all right here we see this is the pitcher pitcher okay in this uh, pitcher he fill water fine then after the old taro he quickly filled the pitcher he had with him and he hurried after filling the pitcher he hurried uh, home he went home okay quickly then the old man was very delighted with the shake after getting that shake the old man was very delighted he wanted you no know, he had that uh, wish to have the shake but at that time he had not now his son taro had uh, brought for him so so for that uh, he was very happy so after only one shallow of the liquid he stopped shivering and did a little dance in the middle of the floor and he was shivering because of cold okay he was shivering because of cold but after swallowing nigal nano after drinking that uh, shake he stopped shivering and what he did he what uh, start he did a little dance in the middle of the floor he start dancing in the middle of the floor now that afternoon a neighbor he stopped by a neighbor he stopped by <coughs> for a visit taro's father politely offered her offer her a cup of a cup of the shake so the lady drank it greedily and thanked the old man then taro told her the story of the magic waterfall thanking them for the delicious drink she left in a hurry by nightfall she had spread the story throughout the whole village so when a uh, visitors came in taro's house so he had offered that shake to her and very greedily you know uh, she drank that uh, shake and taro he told about that waterfall to her also and she hurriedly he she uh, left that place and by night whatever she had spread this when she reached her place in her village you know she spread this news throughout the whole village then after that what will happen uh, after finishing the point 8 we will see in the next class uh, from point 9 let's see uh, what will happen uh, after getting this uh, news by the villagers okay by the villagers what they will uh, do and what taro uh, he would do let's see in the next class so i will send this video to you uh, then what you can do i will send some questions also you do it at home let's see how much you have understood so you send up uh, the answers also okay after solving the questions so then only i uh, come to know that uh, how much you have understood if the answer is uh, or the answers are incorrect it's okay but you do it by yourself 
don't take any help from your fathers or mothers or brothers anyone no you do it by yourself i only want here uh, your understanding how much you have understood that i wanted to know okay so today i stop here take care keep reading this uh, lesson read this lesson to understand in a better way in the next class we will start uh, we will continue again okay so i stopped here take care thank you very much have a great day